And God put in my spirit. You see, God, look at King Tony's talking about God. I don't meal. I was raised a Pentecostal. We pray. We cry. We hurt. Gangsters hurt. This is a country where we speak English, not Spanish. You should be thinking about how can your child become bilingual, right? So I spoke in Spain, I spoke in, in Riga, I've spoke to uh, Sweden, I spoke all over the world and I Okay, so we all know about Tony's imprisonment, where he has some time not just to reflect, but to modify his way of life. You know, to reprogram himself. I noticed that everybody deserves a chance. You're not your you're not your mistake. He turned into what many call a credible messenger using his life story as an example of redemption. And I read and I studied and I didn't feel pity for myself. And I play chess with Jesus, he loses sometimes. <laughs> so you see, I challenge all those. Everybody want to be alone. Everybody want to pray till you're alone for three years and you got to pray every day and the nigga don't come to yourself. The term police brutality has been used since the 1800s. It describes unjustified intentional harassment by law officials, especially to members of ethnic groups. This is why social and human rights movements have been around forever. And the U.S. has had its share of misconducting law officers too, which has led to many protests around the country. But it was in the New York of the 90s when Tony had a revelation. Come on, don't you think I... I like to tell my things with a little story. So when we first came out, the Mothers Against Police Brutality, which was 33 of them, their sons all been killed by cops. Jesus. And they couldn't get justice, nobody marched with them. So then they invited me. And when she invited me, I was on it, get it? Like, now we got a cause! Yeah, 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 Mothers, yeah, yeah. everybody love a mother, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we did, we marched with them, we, we made them a strong group. 7,000, 3,000 in every rally from there was 12. So then the politicians say, the bad guys are there. So they started coming because if the bad guys are there, the good guys are there, right? Yeah. So they shake hands and they say hello, right? King's greeting to one another, which scare the city, is that we did what Christians don't do. Because you could get on the rush hour and there's probably 32 Catholics, 22 Pentecostals, five Muslims, and they see each other and they don't say hello. But let a king be on that side of the train and me on that side, and they see my little beads, and they black and go, he's gonna get up, he's gonna push through that crowd saying, excuse me, and he's gonna come to me, he's gonna say, I'm more than Ray, brother. Do you know I'll die for you as I live for you? It's our greeting, and we must greet when we see each other to let each other know we're there. We hear we're proud and we're men. And then imagine in the train, they hug each other and they kiss each other, and you're looking at two tough guys that you were just scared of, show you the emotion of a greeting because they know the struggle. So when that rally one day, with all the guns out, with Giuliani screaming, because we had the mothers talking and the power was there. The whole community was there and they were confused about us because they heard the propaganda. So when it was my turn to talk, I said, what do I do? And God put in my spirit, you see God, look at King Tony's talking about God, I don't meal. I was raised a Pentecostal. I was an altar boy. Thank God none of the priests pinched my cheek. If a king did it, There'll be news, right? Yeah, if the yeah. Catholic Church does it, it's not a gang. It's on the so my point, so I went through page. all that and I didn't see justice. And now in the middle of that scariest moment in my life, my first rally, God said, show them that you know how to pray. So in the middle, I said, King's Prayer. And these people saw about 900 kings make a circle without telling how, perfect circle, the women in the middle, kids in there, the outer circle, and then I said crowns up and they threw up their crowns, and then you seen the kids do six prayers by memory, the kings and queens prayer, the prayer for the dead, the, imagine that, and they see it and they, and people saying, they're not making this up, because they see and it happen. We pray, we cry, we hurt, gangsters hurt. We feel why we've been forgotten. So we always kneel down and we look at the sky and say, Almighty Father, King of Kings, 
Bring me the sovereignty to fight this war. So we gotta pray, so don't ever confuse. It isn't a hate, it's, a, it's just like you. We want, like a Muslim says, Ali al right? They, uh -huh. they say their greeting. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. They, they do their, everybody got a greeting. So yeah. does the kings. So I know it's kind of, to people, it's a little impression. But what's wrong with it? What happened to society doing things like that? So that's what it means. Amol de Rey means a love of a king to another king. To become 360, which means whole and unbreakable, united with a cause. That's the meaning of our existence. So if you were confused, don't be confused no more. Random four. He gotta go, he gotta go. It's in the books, fellas. Another, another interview that's gonna... What's up guys, if you enjoy our content, don't forget to share it. Then smash the like button and of course hit the sub button. If you're curious about a random topic, let us know in the comments and we'll do the best to take care of the rest. Later debaters. Ah, don't forget to click on notifications so you don't miss a thing.